What's up you guys? It is Monday and it's already 3.30 in the afternoon. I have no idea how this day went so fast. I've been meaning to pick up the vlog all day and yeah, now it's already like late afternoon. But I'm gonna start the vlog no matter what. Uh, Remy is finishing up an episode of Miss Rachel and then we're gonna head out to a thrift store. Um, we got so much work done around our house this weekend and we literally did not leave. We left one time to get coffee and that was like Sunday afternoon. Um, so now it's Monday afternoon and I'm feeling like I need to get out of the house. So we're just gonna run and do a little thrift shopping probably for like an hour and then we're gonna come home and David should already be home. Like I said, this day is flown by, but thought I'd start the vlog. I hope you guys had a really great weekend. I hope you liked my main video. Um, I took forever to edit that video for some reason. I just feel like I had a lot of like montages, which maybe don't seem like they would take a long to edit, but I feel like, I don't know, they did for that video. So hope you enjoyed it. I really liked it and I know we'll have fun like re-watching that in the future. So anyways, hope you guys liked it and we'll check in when we're at the thrift store. Are you ready to go to the store? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay, let's go. You probably think we're going to Target, but. We're back from a couple thrift stores. I didn't have the best luck. I found two cute things, but nothing like that crazy. Um, the first thing I found was this little tray. I thought it was super cute. I immediately thought of like matchbooks or jewelry. Like once I have a really nice nightstand, I thought this would be really cute. I could put like some I don't know, just stuff on my nightstand with this. So I grabbed this, it was $4.99 and I thought it was cute. And then I found this super cute bowl. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Um, I just loved the shape of it and the little legs that it had. The only weird part <laughs> is this on the inside, but it's just paint. So I think we're gonna sand it down, just get rid of this and then, um, there's some spots on here that I feel like this whole bowl just needs a little sanding and it's gonna be really cute. And this was $3.99, so just thought it was kind of fun, unique, and I'll put it somewhere around my house. So that's all that I found today. Nothing super exciting. This is sitting right here and I wanted to show it. I don't know if I've ever shown it, but I found this thrifting one day and I've actually seen them at a couple places, but they're these wooden, pieces of fruit in this little um, like bowl type plate thing. But yeah, it's just a bunch of different types of wooden fruit and I thought it was so cute. I saw this at Parachute. They just opened a store here in Minneapolis and they had this like on their display and I was like, I have this like stuck away in the closet. So I pulled it out. I thought it just kind of, I don't know was like fall without being too fall. So I put this on my new dining table that I'm obsessed with and I'll show it maybe tomorrow or something. But I just thought this was really cute and I always see them at thrift stores. So if you're out hunting, I feel like these are kind of a cool piece to have. So anyways, this is what I got today. Nothing too crazy, but I think David's gonna be home soon. So maybe I'll sand this. I'm either gonna do it today or tomorrow. I just kind of want to do it. It'll be a fun little project. Make your breakfast quick.
Good morning guys, it is Wednesday and David is home today. I have a pretty big photo shoot, video shoot that I have to do for a company. So I got ready this morning and now I'm running to Trader Joe's really quickly to pick up some pumpkins, maybe some mums. Um, I just need them for the photo shoot and also we'll use them for our outdoor decor when I do that, but I kind of forgot that I needed them. So I'm going to run and do that really quick while Remy goes down for her nap. And I thought I'd bring you guys along. My cousin said their pumpkins are really cool there. So I'm hopefully going to find some really cute little pumpkins. Okay, I'm back from Trader Joe's. I got some really cool pumpkins. I will show you guys um, after we eat lunch. I've been shooting for a company for like, I don't know, maybe two hours. It went really well, I think. We just have to get a little bit of B-roll with Remy and I, but Remy has been napping. So David and I are gonna make us lunch. I'm just gonna do some really big salads for both of us. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do and what I've been doing. Um, I always get super nervous when I shoot for companies just because I wanna do a really good job and I feel like I put so much pressure on myself beforehand and I like stress myself out but then while I'm like in the middle of shooting and stuff, I just, it's like, I don't know, it's super fun and I just love doing it. I feel like, I loved graphic design but when I'm doing these shoots and stuff, I just feel like, I don't know, it gets me like really excited and I feel like this is like what I've been meaning to like are meant to do. I don't know exactly what it's called, but like maybe like a stylist, prop stylist or something, but I don't really know why I'm telling you guys this, but I just really like to do it and it's been really fun. So thankful and you guys are really the only reason that I ever get companies to reach out to me. So thankful for you guys and thankful for companies that trust me to create content for them. Um, so yeah, okay, gonna make my salad. finished lunch. I'm going to clean up the mess that I made while I was making it. My hair is like crazy today. It's like freshly washed. It's not always my best hair day. But anyways, I'm going to clean up this mess and then I'm going to make myself a nice coffee because I just need a little pick me up. But actually before I make my iced coffee, I made this this morning and I made extra because one, I wanted an iced coffee and two, I just got these ice molds um, off Amazon. I'll put the link below, but it comes with two molds and it makes these little round bald ice cubes. And I wanted to do coffee ice cubes because I make iced coffee all the time. And sometimes, especially when I make like a latte with like espresso, I feel like it gets so watered down from the ice. So this way, when the ice melts it's just coffee so it won't taste yeah i'm gonna fill these up and then in the next vlog we will open them up and see how they do I was planning to end the vlog today, but I feel like as a content watcher myself, I'd be very annoyed if I didn't know how those ice cubes turned out. So I will end it tomorrow and we can make iced coffee or something tomorrow together to just see how they turn out. I have high hopes, so let's pray they work. Okay, let's just start. We'll start with some of the things I got for Remy. 
Um, this first thing is by Lila and Jack, and it's this little flower plate with a spoon. Um, I love these little silicone plates, and um, I feel like in the midday, she's always wanting like obviously a little snack, or I like to offer her one. So I thought this would be perfect to kind of give her like a bunch of different things. Even for breakfast, honestly, she doesn't eat like a huge helping of anything. So I just feel like her snack time or even like dinner, just having like little compartments. And I feel like it's kind of fun for her. And I just thought it was adorable. So I grabbed that. It also came with a little spoon and that was like $10. I don't know if it's helpful when I tell the price of things. I don't know, but it was $9.99. Also, the sun keeps going in and out of clouds, so if the lighting is a whack during this clip, that's why, but I'm just gonna keep going because Remy's not here to yell at me while I'm filming, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I got this little um, candy corn, and it's supposed to be a mummy, obviously. Um, I'm gonna just put this in her room, like maybe on her little dresser. Um, I just thought it was kind of cute and not too gaudy. I feel like Halloween obviously is kind of a gaudy holiday, um, but I just thought this was kind of sweet and she already saw it and loves it. The last thing I found for her was this adorable sweater um, and little matching booties. I, it's a six to 12 month, so I tried it on her because she's obviously 18 months, but it looked pretty big, but look at how sweet this little sweater is. It's like a little chunky knit sweater with little pom-poms, and then it does come with these little booties. I feel like these maybe will be too small for her, but I might give them to um, my brother and sister-in-law. They just had a little baby boy, and I feel like they'll fit him, especially going into the fall. Um, so, I'm gonna keep this though for her, obviously. I just tried it on her and it's seriously so cute. And this was $14.99, um, super adorable. Okay, the next thing is kind of for Remy, kind of Halloween. Um, there are these super cute little trick-or-treat bags. Um, I'm not gonna do these for like the little kids that trick-or-treat at our house, but just for any like special little kids. So any of Remy's like cousins, or um, she met like a couple cute little friends at the park. I thought it would be fun to do a little treat bag for them. Um, so I grabbed those. And then my cousin and I went to the World Market and we bought these, I'm sure you've seen them, the 3D Halloween bats that people like put up on their like mantle or like right behind me would be kind of cute. Um, so I got those. We decided that we needed to be a little bit more fun for Halloween. So this was our um, version of fun. And they also had this massive spider. It was like, I don't know, it was pretty big. And I think we're both gonna get it and put it on the outside of our house more towards like Halloween because it's very Halloween-y. It's not really just fall, obviously. Um, but I have like black window boxes like a black trim on my like outside so i feel like a big black spider would be kind of cool um i'll link it below if you guys are wanting to you know be a little bit more fun for halloween like i'm trying to be i feel like i can be very boring so that's my plan um back to home goods i always buy these real techniques um beauty sponges because Remy treats these like dog toys and bites them and rips them apart. So I'm always needing new ones because literally all of mine have bite marks in them. Um, I found this really cute book. It's called Scandy Rustic, Creating a Cozy and Happy Home. And I just thought it was really cute. Always look at like the spine of the book because when you decorate with them, you want them to look you know cute and i actually love the inside and it's kind of fun to like flip through an actual book instead of just looking on instagram and stuff for inspiration so i got this and then we go through eggs so much here especially now that remy eats them and i'm always making egg cups for her and stuff so we had one of these already sorry if my thing keeps shaking but i keep hitting my table um i had a 12 count i think or maybe 18 but i wanted to get 
the third one so that we could buy more eggs at a time because I felt like I was always running out of eggs. So I got that and I was trying to think of what I could do with the other one just because I didn't want to like throw it away because it's perfectly fine. But I feel like for Remy, it could be a really good like paint container or something or honestly just like filling it with like little toys or something she would think was really fun to play with so that's my thought on that i didn't want to like waste the other one because i haven't had it for that long then i got this amazing candle it is oak moss and i do not know how to say that um but it's massive it's so big and it smells amazing it's like what i want my house to smell like in the fall and i just loved this like deep green color i thought it was really pretty probably would put it back there actually and then the last thing i picked up were these cards you guys know i'm always picking up birthday cards wedding cards baby cards any type of card at tj maxx home goods whatever um they always just have really cute ones a lot of theirs are letter pressed which i love but Okay, I think that's all that I got, but I thought I'd share it with you guys just because I like seeing people's little hauls. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff away, and then I can't decide what I want to do. I might meal prep some stuff for Remy. I bought a bunch of food yesterday that I need to cook for her. Um, the trick to having like healthy food is prepping in advance because... Otherwise, I'm like throwing together the most random meals for her. So I'm going to try to meal prep some like turkey meatballs with a bunch of vegetables in them and just cook up some like sweet potatoes and stuff like that. So I think that's probably what I'll do. We're running low on energy though. I got to like chug the rest of my coffee. Um, but okay, that's all I got. Do you want hard boiled eggs? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here's everything that I just prepped. I did some hard-boiled eggs, mostly for David and I. Um, I maybe will try them on Remy. I'm not sure if she will eat them, but made those for David and I just to have. Um, I made a bunch of sweet potato for Remy to have. And then these are the meatballs that I made for Remy. Um, these are ground turkey, rice, broccoli, carrots, garlic, onion, salt, pepper, paprika, thyme, I think is all that's in those. Um, I just basically tried to put a ton of vegetables in them and we'll see if she'll eat them. I think she will. She's usually pretty like into like that type of thing. So this is what I prepped and I'm going to let it all cool off and then I'll stick it in the fridge and we'll have it for the rest of the week. Good morning guys it is thursday it's actually not even the morning anymore it's 12 30. um remy went with her grandparents today and david and her left at like 6 45 and since then i've basically been on the couch editing content that i need to get sent out probably either today or tomorrow um and then i got myself ready i'm wearing one of my favorite outfits ever i got it for my birthday i'll show it to you guys once i um go buy a full length mirror i need to buy one for this main floor um i just try to like 
take a photo in this one that's from Remy's bedroom and it looks so stupid um but I hate not having a full-length mirror on my like main floor because I'm always like putting my shoes on at the back door and then I'm gonna leave but I always like to see what my outfit looks like before we leave and so I'm always running back upstairs to check it in my mirror so that's something I need to get on this main floor but anyways um, now I need to go make some returns I bought a bunch of stuff before we went on our main trip and there's just a few things that um, didn't really fit so I want to go return those um, I made a little checklist if you're wondering what I keep looking at um, so I'm gonna do that. I need to clean up our house a little bit, but that honestly is gonna take me like an hour at the most. Um, I need to send out some emails. What else am I gonna do? We are going to, one, make an iced coffee with my ice cubes. I'm so excited. These better be cool. And then I also kind of wanna sand that bowl that I got at the beginning of the vlog because I just think it's so cute. So. We'll kind of see where today takes us, but for sure we're gonna make a nice coffee and then we're gonna go do returns and we'll see how much time we have left in the day. So that is the plan. How cute are those? I'm very obsessed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm makeshifting this little mirror situation, but I wanted to show you guys this outfit. It's from Free People. It comes as a set. I can't remember how much it costs. I will link it below, but what I love about it is I love the monochromatic look. It does come in other colors, but I love that this one um you know it's just like two slightly different shades of green um and then i also love that i can wear them separately i thought this would be so cute with just jeans and if it gets colder i could put like a long sleeve underneath it and it would just be super cute it's kind of like a little bit of a mock turtleneck but um yeah i just love it these sweatpants are the most comfy thing ever the ends are at the bottom of them kind of like cinch in at your ankle so they're just like super cute and fun and it's extremely comfortable but you still look pretty put together so i will link it below i just think it's so cute and i'm obsessed back home and I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I got before I start cleaning and let's start with me because it's less exciting. I went to exchange the sweater or return it and of course I lost the receipt again at Zara and their return policy is literally impossible if you don't have a receipt um, and that's my bad. I know that it's like that. Um, but I bought this sweater before we went to Bar Harbor or Maine and I really like it. I feel like it's a very classic sweater. It's one that I'll probably wear a lot. I just wanted one size up. I think it's supposed to be oversized and it just didn't feel like super oversized for me. Um, but of course they didn't have, you can exchange an item for a different size, but they didn't have the size I needed. So... I'm stuck with this one and I don't know. I'm gonna try it on again and hopefully like with the right pants or something, I'll like it enough, but otherwise I'll just, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm stuck with it for now. And then at H&M, I bought these kind of like tall white socks. Um, I just thought these would be cute with jeans, tennis shoes, my Birkenstocks and 
I didn't have a lot of just like all white ones last year and I still love them. I got a bunch of different like colored socks, like ones with stripes on the end and stuff. Um, but I don't have any like just plain white ones. So I grabbed those. Okay, and then I bought this jacket. It looks way too much with this outfit I have on today because I think I showed you guys what it looked like in the store. Um, but I saw this other blogger that I love her style wear this green kind of like, I don't know, it's like a quilted bomber-ish kind of jacket. And she just wore it with like black leggings, a cool hat, um, and a white hoodie under it. And I just felt like it was... I don't know it's just my vibe and it was really cool and I feel like this is something I'll wear a lot as like I don't know just like a weekday outfit and I'm known for never wearing coats so I'm trying to get at least a few for this season and I thought this one was really cute um I sized down in this and it was $60, but I have a birthday thing, so I got 25% off this, so not too bad. And then I bought this sweater. I bought this last year, and I wore it so much. Um, let me show you. I got it in more of a, I don't know what this color is, like a gray taupey color, um, but it's just like an oversized cardigan with buttons there's three buttons the other one's not done i don't think but it's really cute it's a good length it looks so cute which is like a white t-shirt under it it's a very classic sweater but i had the same one last year like i said and i wore it all the time and that's all that i got and now i'll show you what i got for remy when we went to maine i bought her um these denim overalls and I about died with her in them. They're just so cute. So I bought her three pairs of overalls. These ones I got her. She has these in the denim. These are the ones that I love so much. They just fit her so cute. So I grabbed these. These are all from Zara. Sorry if this just moved, my camera died. Um, but these next pair of overalls I thought were so cute. They're these little knitted floral like a little jumper and I just thought this would be so so cute with a little white like long sleeve under it I just love it like I want this for me um so I grabbed that and then this pair was there when I went a couple weeks ago but they didn't have her size but I just fell in love with them I think they're literally the cutest little things they're cream and have some like muted little flowers on them I just, I don't know. I feel like they're going to be so cute on her. And then I bought her this little shirt to go under it. Um, I sized down in this shirt quite a bit because I wanted it to fit her like pretty tight. And Remy is a little peanut. She's kind of tall, but very slim. But look at how cute you guys. Oh, I just love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, that is everything that I bought. I'm gonna go ahead, clean my house, and chill out for like the last half hour before David and Remy get home. I was gonna do the bowl project, but I think I'm gonna save that till tomorrow just because I feel like I would be rushing to finish it before they could get home. So Remy girl and I will just do it tomorrow together. So maybe I'll start my next vlog tomorrow. I'm kind of in the mood to vlog a lot. So anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having a great week and you'll be seeing this on Sunday. So good luck next week. I hope you guys have a great one. We'll see you soon. Bye.